Boozy Spirits are here on location at a Food and Wine Festival, West Alabama, in good old North Pole. We got Frankie from United Johnson Brothers. That's right. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. You got some, some different wines for us tonight. I do. I do. So we have. Savion Blanc, Savion Blanc as a varietal has been absolutely on fire mm -hmm. the past couple years, and especially Savion Blanc from New Zealand, uh, specifically Marlboro. So um, we have one that's just tried and true, being Kim Crawford, um, a woman founded, uh, was started um, by uh, by two sisters, and they uh, they found a property. They were they weren't doing they weren't given any more winery basically certificates. Mm -hmm. So no more wine could be built on the area of Marlboro of New Zealand. So um, they had to find a, a property that was already grandfathered in. So they went looking and looking. They finally found this property and on the inside of this little barn that was on the property was a grandfathered in certificate. So if they hadn't found that, yeah. you wouldn't be drinking Kim Crawford today. We have um, a uh, French rosé. Uh, called the Jolie Flair. So uh, this one you can only find in bars and restaurants. It means a little, uh, the little flower. So this one is going to be uh, a Provence rosé, um, about 40 percent, and then a Mediterranean rosé, and then they blend them all together. So it's about a 60 percent Mediterranean, 40 percent from Provence, and then we have uh, Simi Sonoma County Pinot Noir. So I wanted to pick these wines. These are great for summer. And uh, Isabel Simi has a very interesting story where uh, her family came over from Italy. She was 18 years old, and her uncle and father started a winery. They unfortunately passed away in a train accident, and she had to take over the family business. She made it through prohibition, and in that time, she had to basically sell everything to keep her cellars open. Mm -hmm. So when prohibition was over, she was one of the very few winemakers in the entire country that had aged, vintaged wine to sell to the masses, and then she absolutely exploded it from there. So one of the great stories about uh, female winemakers in the Americas, for sure. So without further ado, you want to try them? Definitely. All right. So Frankie's we're like going to start. Wine. It really is. It's super impressive. You know, you, you just drink, you drink enough, and you, you find out the stories behind these wines. So what you're drinking here, Kim Croft, or Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand is typically going to have big, big grapefruit notes on there. So you'll get that on the nose. You'll get a little bit of grass and herbaceousness, almost a little oregano on there. I, I smell freshly cut grass um, when I drink Sauvignon Blanc, especially from New Zealand. And you're going to get a lot of that. This is quintessential New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc from Kim Crawford. What do you guys think? Really good. Yeah. Really light, really refreshing. Yeah. If you're uh, Definitely see summertime for that. Oh, easy. Easy. No doubt about it. My favorite wine in the lineup today, I mean, while well, I love the story of Isabel Simi and I love the story of Kim Crawford, uh, I'm a rosé guy. Really? And I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit it. No, I love it. It's, it's delicious. It is. So, uh, pour it out. Of course. So this is going to be Le Jolie Flair. So this is going to be a Grenache and Senso rosé right here which what you'll find here, a lot of red fruit and strawberries on the nose, um, very floral because it is gonna have that coastal influence from Southern France, where 60% of this juice is pulled from. And it's gonna have a creamy kind of mid to back palate there, which is what is quintessential for French rosé. That's what it's kind of known for. Really smooth. Yeah, it really is. You kind of have that, that creamy mouthfeel yeah. that sometimes you get with certain Chardonnays and things like that. Um, but because this is made with a little bit of a heavier grape and uh, and has absorbed all that terroir from um, Central and Southern France. Yeah, food pairings that you would do with these? Or? Oh, absolutely. Um, anything seafood with yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Um, with Rosé, it kind of opens up a few more pairings mm -hmm. with it. So because this Rosé is a little bit less acidic than this Kim Crawford, I would pair this with any sort of appetizers, charcuterie boards, um, pizza, things like that. Um, something a little bit lighter, fair. I, I knew pizza was an appetizer, I knew that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, anything can be an appetizer. <laughs> now. I'm always yeah. And then last but not least, we're going to have this Pinot Noir from Sonoma here. Train wreck story. 
So with this one, you're most likely going to get a little bit lighter bodied um, for a red, but you're also going to get some baking spices in there as well, especially on the back end. So Pinot Noir is known for being a great pairing um, with a lot of Asian fare, as well as um, pork and any sort of game. So duck is a great pairing with Pinot. Never thought about Asian with wine. Do what? Never thought about Asian food with wine. Pairing. Oh, absolutely, sure. Um, think about Pinot Noir and think about Riesling and stuff like that. Okay. Because the you have, let's say you have Hung Pao Chicken, might be a little spicy, right? You're gonna love something just a little bit sweet with that to kind of cut that spice, so it's gonna cleanse your palate with each uh, each sip. Did you so, bring us some Kung Pao Chicken? Oh wow, I would love some right now, I'll tell you what. You know, I was in airports all day, I can't tell you how many uh, Kung Pao Chicken places I've passed, so, yeah. Suburban chicken? Oh yeah, no yeah, doubt about it. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, I had some mushy pork today. So are these pork. available? Yes, so you can public. They are, they okay. are. So uh, right down the road here at Billy's is going to have Kim Crawford and Le Jolie Flair. Okay. Um, you can special order the Simi from uh, Spirits Wine Cellar, and you can special order any of these from Spirits Wine Cellar. So um, you'll be able to find Le Jolie Flair at Dillard's Chop House and places like that, as well as uh, River, Kim Crawford at Billy's, and uh, and the one you'll be able to find most available just in your regular grocery store and stuff like that is most likely going to be this Kim Crawford okay. there. And you can, of course, always order a special order this CD. So that's probably the, the hardest find, to find bottle of the lineup here. I'm sure it'll be available at Sanctuary. It would definitely be available at Sanctuary. <laughs> right on, right on. I hear you. Awesome. I appreciate you coming on. Giving yeah, us guys. Thank y'all thank so much for having always, me. I really always, appreciate always it. Enjoy always enjoy it. Yeah, Justin. I always feel right. smarter after I talk to Frank. That's what she got a lot. Feel stupid. I mean, I mean exactly. And then I feel like after I drink enough, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can I can taste it. I can taste what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we always appreciate the information and absolutely the advice. Well, sure. thank you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah,